Hi everyone, my name is Akuridi Adenike. You are welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew frost zipper peplum top. And the peplum is going to be 720 degree flare. So let's get into it. I'm cutting the upper part and the down part separately. I'll first of all make the upper part before making the down part which is the peplum. So this is the car fabric that I'm using. I have two yards of fabric here and these are my tools. So I'm cutting the upper part first and to get the to know the amount of fabric I'm putting on fold for my upper part I'm going to use the biggest part of my upper part which is bust to calculate my measurement. My bust is 30 divided by 4 that will give me 9.5 plus having the same allowance that will give me 10 inches plus 2 inches that is 12 inches I'm cutting the back first before the front you know I said this front zipper peplum top so now this is the back part of my upper part I've already cut it up and I'm going to explain for you so here is it I said my boss is 30 divided by 4 is 9.5 plus half inch seam allowance plus half inch is that will give me 10 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance because I'm adding line into it that will give me 12 inches and I'm so I'm going to add 1 inch for that to it so 12 plus 1 inch that will give me 13 inches so I'm going to check now here is it This is 13.5. It's going to be enough for me. And my fabric is folded into two. I let the right side face each other. This is for the back part of the upper part of my peplum top. So, here is my shoulder line now. From my shoulder line, I'm going to take all my horizontal line. From the shoulder line to my chest line. To get my chest line is half of my round arm hole. My round ammo is 17 inches divided by 2 will give me 8.5 plus half inch seam allowance. That is 9 inches. From my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches plus half inch seam allowance. That will give me 10.5. Here is it. And from my shoulder to my under bust is 13.5 plus half inch. That will give me 14 inches. From my shoulder to my waist is 17 inches, but I'm using 15 inches for this one now because that 2 inches will let my tummy hide a little bit. So 15 now plus 1 inch seam allowance, that will give me 16 inches. Here is the 16 inches here. So let me make all, I'm making it in a straight line, my chest line, my boss point line. My underbust line and my waistline. So on my shoulder here, I'm going to measure my back. I'm going to place my back measurement on it. So my back is 15 divided by 2, 7.5 plus half inch seam allowance. That will give me 8 inches. So from there now. On this chest line too, I'm going to input that 8 inches and I'm going to connect it. Connecting it now. So, my neck width is going to be 3.5. Neck depth for my back will be 1. Point five. So I'm going to connect it. You can use your free hand if you want, but I'm using my curve roller, my pattern master. So here now to create my shoulder slant, I'm going to come down by half inch, which is 0 0.5. Then I'm going to slant it like this going to slant it so to create my back armhole now I'll just 
measure what is here and this is 8.5 then I'm going to fold my tape measure into two like this to get the middle and I'm going to place my curve like this and connect it like this this is my back armhole so I will now input all my circumference quarter of my bust will be on my chest so I will now input all my circumference now on my chest line I'm going to input quarter of my bust my bust is 30 divided by 4 is 9.5 plus half inch is 10 inches on my bust point I'm going to input the same thing which is 10 inches so on my under bust line I'm going to input quarter of my under bust my under bust is 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches plus 1 inch that will give me 9 inches on my waistline my waist is 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5 plus 1 inch that will give me 9.5 here is it here so I'll now connect it going to connect it like this so but make sure you always blend all the sharp edges to make your job accurate please so I will now add 2 inches similar ones to it because I'm adding lining to add 2 inches similar ones to it all through so that's just it I will now connect it remember I'm cutting the back first the back part of it of the upper part so that's just it now to cut the back part of the upper part of my peplum top I hope you can see it very well is it so on the waist here I'm going to come up by one inch because as you as we all know our waist is curvy so to create a slight curve at the bottom here at the waistline so just to create a little curve here like this so I'll now cut it out here is my back let me confirm my the length of my upper part 15 inches plus 1 inch is accurate always cross check please so I'm going to cut it out If you are a beginner, please always pin down your fabric. So, the neck line and the shoulder slant. So, I will now use this back now to cut out my front. You know, I said I'm going to add my zipper to the front part of it. So, now I folded another fabric for the front. And here is my zipper allowance, 2 inches zipper allowance. I will now place my back on it like this. Here is, it. Here is my 2 inches same allowance, I mean zipper allowance. So make sure you place it very well for you to get accurate measurements. I'm going to trace it out, tracing it out. My arm hole. Shoulder slant. My side. Bottom of it, which is the waistline. I'm tracing it out to make it easier for me to cut. So the neck, the neck width. 
that's just it so i'll now remove it and make this chest line a straight line you can measure it before drawing that straight line for you to be sure of what you are doing that's just it so i will now connect the ham hole like this let me first of all place the eight inches for my back measurements so that for me to connect it very well so i'll now connect it to get my front arm hole is it so this is my shoulder slant let me draw it out very well shoulder slant so from there now i'm going to fold my tape measure into two like this to get the middle of it here is a middle so on that middle i'm going to come in by 0 0.75 less than one inch so and i'm going to connect like this i'm going to place it on this point that i measured inward which is 0 0.75 i will now connect it to form my front armhole so that's just it for my front armhole so my neck depth for front will be six inches so i will now connect it let me confirm the neck width is correct then i will now connect it i'm making it round shape so that's just it on how to cut the front front part of it of my upper part so i'll now cut it out my neckline make sure the slant that's just it and now to cut the upper part of my peplum top as you can see this is my zipper allowance here is the front part of it the front part of it as you can see it's already looking nice here is it here is it and this is the back part of it here is the back part of it Yeah, is it as you can see it's very nice and beautiful i'll now go ahead and cut the lining for this and join it before cutting my peplum you know i say now here is the front part of it i'm going to place my lining on the right side of it so i'll place it like this and stitch from here down to this place with half inch then decide to with half inch i'm going to do the same thing on the second part of the front so when i finish all that i'll come and show you i finished attaching the line into it here's the front part of it you know the front is two pieces while the back is one piece so i'm notching the neckline with quarter of an inch don't let the notching touch the sewing so i'll notch the second one with quarter of an inch notch it round 
the neckline. So I'm notching the back too. Notch it with quarter of an inch. Don't let the notching touch the sewing place. So I'll now turn it to the right side and give it nice ironing. Turn it to the right side like this. Here's the back. I'll now iron it very well. And here's the boats front. Oh, I've turned it and I've ironed it. Look how neat and beautiful it is. Here's the one part of the front side. Here is it. These two pieces for the front and one piece for the back. I've ironed it too. Turn it to the right side and iron it. So I will now I will now add my dart. Here's the back. So get my dart for the back. Here's it. I fold it into two. So from my shoulder I'm going to measure my chest line which is 8.5 plus half inch that is nine inches here's it so from the center back here i'm going to measure my nipple to knee half of my nipple to nipple measurement my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches divided by two is 3.5 plus half inch that i'm going to use to sew it that will give me four inches so i'm going to place that four inches here too from the center back is it and i'm going to connect it connect it straight like this so after that from my chest line i'm going to come down by one inch so here now i'm going to measure half inch on both side like this so i'll now connect it like this slantly like this then this side too slantly like this so i'll let the the measurement here i'll let it reflect on the second side just do it like this then here to make sure you mark the center like this so i'll now go ahead to my mansion you know when you draw a straight line like this you now measure half inch here half inch here then to sew it now you hold it like this fold it like this on the center here you fold it like this then you now stitch slantly from here down to the waist do the same thing on the second side of it as for the front to get my measurement for my dad for the front now for my shoulder here i'm going to measure 10 inches plus because my shoulder to my boss point is 10 inches plus having same allowance here is it now so i'll now add two inches to it that will give me 12.5. Here is where the 12.5 is now. So let me make a straight line. Let me make it a straight line. Like this. So from the center front here now, you know I have zipper allowance here, which is 2 inches. And I've used one a half inch to join it with the lining. This is the remaining 1.5 here now. I'm going to measure. 1.5 that remains out so let me connect it to form a straight line from this line now i will now measure my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches divided by two is 3.5 plus half inch same allowance that give me four inches i'm going to place it on the waistline here too so I'll now make it a straight line, just like this. So on my waist now, on both sides, I'm going to measure half inch here, then half inch on the second side. I'll now connect slantly from here. I'll connect slantly down to the waist. 
So second side too. From here down to the waist. That's just it. I'll let this point now, this mark reflect on the second side like this. Just hold it and make a knot, make a dot on the second side of it. Hold it here to make a dot. So to sew it, I'll just fold it like this. Fold it like this and go to my mansion. So it's slightly from up here down to the waist. I'm going to to do the same thing on the second side of it like this just hold it like i did on this one so when i finish i'll come and show you what's next so i'm done with the dart here's the two pieces for the front and here's a one piece for the back i've joined the dart as you can see it's very nice and beautiful here's the front as you can see so i'll now go ahead and join the shoulder like this i'll place this one on this like this. I will now make it like this. I'll open it up the back part of it. I'll put this one inside it like this and let it be in between the lining and the fabric. So I'll now go ahead and stitch it with half inch half inch or better still you can open the two up like this and let this center this place matches this place like this and sew it straight down to the lining part from the fabric down to the lining with half inch like this so what i'm putting it inside it like this to join it together. I'm going to do the same thing on the second shoulder. The shoulder, the two shoulders, here's it, as you can see, this is the wrong side of it, and this is the right side. So I'll now place my measurement for the side side, for both sides. But I'm placing my measurement on the back part for you to understand very well. So from my shoulder here now, I'm going to measure out all my horizontal before my circumference. My shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches. Here's the 10 inches. From sh from my shoulder to my under bust is 13.5. Here is it. And from my shoulder to the waist of the top. So on my chest line here, I'm going to input quarter of my bust. My bust is 30 divided by 4. I mean divided by 2 this time around is 19 inches plus 1 inch is that will give me 20 inches and I have 23 inches here. So I'll now deduct that 20 inches from that 23. The remaining one will be 3 inches. I'll now share the 3 inches into 2. So I'll place 1.5 here. Then the remaining 1.5 will be here too. So on my underbust line, I'm going to input quarter of my underboss. My underboss is 32 divided by 2 is 16 inches. And I have 20 inches here. I will now deduct that 16 inches from that 20. The remaining one will be the remaining one will be 4 inches. I'll, I'll divide the 4 inches into 2. So I'll place 2 inches here, then 2 inches will be here too. Just make sure you get half of your underbust on your underbust line, half of your bust on your chest line and on your bust point line too. So on my waist line now, my waist is 34 divided by 2 is 17 inches. So I'll make sure I get 17 inches on my waistline. What I get here now is 20 inches. I'm going to deduct that 17 inches from it. The, rema the remaining inches will be 3 inches. I'll, I'll divide it into 2. So I'm going to place 1.5 inch here. Then on this side too, I'm going to place 1.5. Just make sure what you get here is half of your waist. So I'll now connect it. Like this. I'm using my free hand this time around for those who don't have their curve ruler for them to know how to 
connect it just make it curve like this so that's just it i will now go ahead and stitch it make sure the sides matches each other let it align on each other very well don't mind that zipper allowance just let the sides align on each other like this and stitch it on the mark so i've joined the both sides of it as you can see here's the zipper allowance for the front so so all i have all through on my waistline here now is 37 together with my zipper allowance all is 37 inches as you can see so i will now divide that to 37 into two to get my 720 degree that i'm going to join with this upper part so to get that now 37 divided by two that will give me 18.5 so I will now divide that 18.5 by 6.28. That will give me 2.9. So this is the fabric I'm using for the peplum. I'm going to fold it into four to get the amount of fabric that I want for my peplum. I'm folding into four and I will now check whether it will be enough for the peplum I'm cutting. So 2.9 to get the length of my peplum now. Because let me first of all. But to get the amount of fabric that you are folding for your peplum, that 2.9, you have to add it to the length of your peplum. Now, to get the length of my peplum, the full length of my top is 23. I'm going to deduct this upper part from it, which is 15 inches. When I deduct it from it, the remaining one will be 8 inches. So, I will now add that 2.9 plus 8 inches. That will give me 10.9. So... I'm going to add one inch seam allowance to it. That will give me 11.9. So let me check whether it will. So this is it now folded into four. So I will now check whether it will be enough for me for the peplum I'm cutting out. So 11.9. This is 12 inches. It's going to be enough for me. And this place too is going to be enough for me. So I will now measure. So from this center now, I'm going to measure 2.9 out make sure you get your measurement right please to make your job neat so i'm measuring that 2.9 out you know i divided that 18.5 by 6.28 that's how i get this 2.9 i will now connect it round like this so the length of my peplum is 8 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. That will give me 9 inches. So I'm measuring 9 inches round to get my peplum now. So I will now connect it round connecting it round so I will now cut it out cutting please make sure you get your measurement right to make your job that's it I'm going to cut one side of it now to get my here is it as you can see it has formed so to get my 720 now because this is 360 degree, degree peplum to get my 720 i'm going to cut one more of these cut the lining so when i finish cutting i'll let you see it now i've cut one more of it here is it here's the two peplum so here is the lining for it the lining too is two so i will now go ahead and join it together to form my 720 degree flare so i'll join it with half inch now so i'll join the line into with half inch when i finish joining i'll come and show you so i've joined the two peplum now here's it it has formed 720 degree peplum now so i've joined the line into 
I'll now go ahead and join the lining and the fabric together by letting the right side of the fabric and the lining face each other. So I'll make sure the center matches each other on the bottom here. And I'll now stitch the bottom with half inch all through. When I finish that, I'll come and show you. Now I've finished stitching with half inch all round. So I will now notch it with quarter of an inch all round. And I'm going to top stitch it. So when I finish notching the bottom all round, I will open it up like this. I'll open it up like this and top stitch on the lining, not on the fabric, please. So when I finish that, I'll come. Now I'm done with the peplum. I've top stitched it and I've ironed it. There is it. Look how neat and beautiful it is. I'll now attach it to the upper part of my top now. So here is the upper part of it. I'll now find the center of the upper part now by folding it into two like this. And I'm going to notch the center here now. I'll find the center of the purple on two and notch it. What I'm doing that is because I want it to be accurate. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm going to find the center of the peplum too by folding into two and notch the center out. So make sure I just notch it like this. You can even use that center that you join it together to make it the center. So I'll now attach the peplum to the upper part of my top now by placing the right side on each other like this. Make it align on each other like this. Make it align, then pin it all through. So I'm done with the pin. I've pinned it down. So I'll now go ahead and sew it with half inch from this place down to the second side. So when I finish that, I'll come and show you. Now I've finished attaching the peplum to the upper part of the top. Here's it, as you can see. And I've overlocked it. Here's it. See how neat and beautiful it is. So I'll now go ahead and fix my zipper to the front. Here is the front part of it. I'm going to fix my zipper to the front part of it. So and I will now attach my desire sleeve. So when I finish that, I'm going to high on it and put it on for you to see how it really look on me. So guys, if you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to support my channel, leave a comment. If you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing, please join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akurede Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akurede Adenike. Till I see you in my next video, stay blessed guys. Bye-bye.